Hey guys, how are we doing and welcome back to another video. So once again, it is very, very early. So I am not going to be shouting in this video. I am probably not going to be whispering either, but I hope you guys can hear me. So basically, first thing, set alarm for half past five this morning. So it is bright and early, but it's not really bright because it is raining. Don't know if you can hear that. I have got my food on right now. So I did get up that little bit early because the day is the day I Again, so we are finally hitting Perth today don't care whether it is you know snow rain hail the sunniest day the worst snow on the planet I am going and that's it because it's been put off literally what two times now and it's just been the worst ever so I've got to go today I can't wait to go like genuinely I can't wait to go it's just been a case of like absolutely every single time that I've went something has came up that has literally stopped me from going not the fact that i've chose not to go it's the fact that it has stopped me so it's been the worst ever so what i did last night was got my potatoes and sweet potatoes prepped for today i like to kind of cook my chicken fresh really just i don't know it's quite a weird thing but i do like to cook my chicken fresh so i am going to cook that now i've got my potatoes in the air fryer right now so basically i just kind of prepped them last night got them ready for this morning got up nice and early this morning because obviously i don't know if you guys know but we don't literally live just around the corner from perth so we've got like a nice kind of maybe three maybe just over three hour journey to perth so gonna leave straight away chicken's just gonna get put on i am gonna have my oats first so oats first thing so you guys probably will see that last night had to literally move my lever belt another hole again so literally had to make it even smaller so obviously my waist is coming in again but it's like giving me the ultimate fear because I have got one hole left in the belt and I'm like, oh my God, please don't hit that hole. Please don't hit that hole. But it's only a good thing. My waist is getting smaller. So that is obviously good. We got up this morning, got some steps in straight away at half past five. Some posing done, meals done. Now I've just got to put some clothes on because obviously as I've got no clothes on right now, I'm not going to show anything else. And as you guys will know already, this is obviously going to be a day in the life video. This is going to be a road trip. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take you through obviously a day of dieting, but obviously on the road. So even for a 21 year old like me, I have got up extra early. I have got my meals prepped. There's no excuses whatsoever. I'm doing whatever I can to achieve what I actually want. So I'm going to take you through all that long trip ahead. So Got all my meals done, structured meal plan, so no flexible dieting or anything like that. Got all my meals done for the day. We are quite far away from Perth, so same again, no excuses. Got to get all my meals done for the day, so I will take you guys through that. There's absolutely no excuses whatsoever, so even if you are going on a long, long trip and you are on prep or you are in a dieting phase and you need to stick to that structured plan because obviously flexible dieting sucks at the end of the day and what the fuck is flexible dieting? I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you do enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button, hit that huge, 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 huge thumbs up button, subscribe if you are new about here and I will see you guys probably when I get my oats. Okay, so 
oats done oats acquired oats made i am absolutely buzzing to eat these because as you guys probably know already and if you don't know then you're probably the biggest moron out there that my oats are my most favorite meal of the day well i mean i do say that but when it does get to my post workout i really do like my white potato i like my white potato fries you know i like my they're, you know you basically sit down to it and you're like shit i'm actually eating like a, a full plate of chips you know from like mcdonald's or something like that so it's actually so nice even though obviously i know it's not mcdonald's but to be honest with you at this point they do taste really good but i just don't think that it's going to taste my oats so first meal going in right now second meal obviously we're going on to potato meals then we'll be hitting up a pre-workout meal. I am going to be hitting back today. I am going to be doing some sort of pull variation, probably a deadlift because you know, how can't you deadlift when you do travel? That is just my sweet potatoes pig in there. So my sweet potato fries are ready. Just still need to put some clothes on. I don't know why I've still not put any on, but I'm just kind of more focused on getting my food ready more than anything else. So everything goes to plan. I'm just going to crack on with this first meal guys here. I will probably see you guys when we're on the road. update for you guys so i have literally just stopped in at the service station in sterling just there just to pick up some coke zero i was actually going to get some pepsi max but they were wanting like 2.99 for a bottle of pepsi max and i seen coke zero it was on offer it was like 189 so i was like of course i'm going to just pick that as i have run out a monster they did have all the monsters as you guys just seen but i didn't actually get another can i'm going to just leave it for obviously the road home i'm going to get another can probably back then we're not far from the gym now so i'm going to get my pre-workout meal in probably another maybe 15 to 20 minutes to the gym so it shouldn't be that bad sweet potato chicken unbelievable this should taste perfect so just a little quick taste test for you guys the sweet potato the now wow that is good must admit i don't actually eat the sweet potato cold that often but for this being cold sweet potato obviously you guys see me prep it this morning this is actually really really nice so i'm definitely going to enjoy this meal i'm just going to chill here in the car for the next probably 10 minutes eating this and then i will catch up with you guys when i get to the gym quick update for you guys so i have just dropped my fucking keys jesus christ Oh, I've just arrived in Perth, so I'm parked just around the corner from Body Academy. I think there's something on in Perth today because this place is freaking mobbed. But it's what it is. We have just arrived in Perth. Going to obviously hit up the gym now, so I will probably just catch you guys in there because if I don't, I'm just going to ramble on the biggest lot of rubbish. Oh, sorry, mate. I'm actually trying to vlog here. Okay, so what I was saying was I'll probably just catch you guys in the gym. I'm going to go and load up a bar probably move it for a few reps and that'll be about it so i will catch you guys when i get in there
Keep fucking going, yeah? Ah! Go on that one, let's fucking go. Ah! Up, 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 up! Come on! Oh! And we are done for another day so as you can probably see in this video it is raining it's absolutely stinking I am getting soaked but obviously anything for the old YouTube you know anything for the vlog walking back to the car I think I can actually remember where the car is but to be honest with you I can't actually see it and I thought I was walking in the right direction but oh well we'll just go with it we'll just get absolutely fucking drenched but I had an unbelievable session there as you guys just seen a video basically what I could, I was having that much fun just using absolutely everything obviously got good use out the mag grips, we hit up some heavy deadlifts of course took a top set 260 for 5 which was actually really really surprising on a new bar again today so we're taking that for sure I will upload that to Instagram as much as it's going to be in this video I need my post workout meal, I am starving, it's chicken and white potato it's going to be cold but I am fucking looking forward to it. Chicken and white potato fries that you guys did see me prep this morning, obviously. So once again, structured meal plan here. We are traveling. We are about three and a half hours away from home, but still no excuse, no flexible dieting, no nothing, no picking what I want to eat. I'm getting the stuff done that needs to be done. Just proves that it is easy enough, obviously. Once you give yourself enough time, if that means you need to get up literally half an hour earlier, an hour earlier, an hour and a half earlier, whatever the fuck it is, prep your meals the day before. Do what you need to do. Just literally don't waste time. Don't leave time where you're just rushing in the morning. You're forgetting everything. You're just like, oh, 
you know, I'll just stop in at Tesco or an Asda or something and I'll pick up something that'll be pretty similar to your meal. Nothing's going to be similar to what's on your meal plan. So if you've got given literally a structured meal plan, if you've got given, you know, even, even a certain amount of carbs or, or something that obviously you have been eating absolutely every single day, don't fuck it up. Don't change it. Literally do what you need to do. If you need to get up an hour earlier, get up an hour earlier. Prep your meals the day before if you need to prep them the day before. Don't let anything slip. Kill absolutely everything that you need to do. I'm going to absolutely demolish this because I am starving. Look how good that looks. Even though it's cold, it actually looks really, really delicious. I have still got a bit of Coke Zero here that I picked up at that service station instead of Monster. I do need to pick up another can of Monster because I've got a long journey home. is going on team so i am nearly home stopped in there for some petrol also picked up me a red monster which is by far the best can i don't care what anybody says not one single can of monster will top the red one except possibly the blue one but if it was the blue one it would have to be from miami and there's such a shitty diversion here oh my god I absolutely hate this route more than anything else. So this is literally like a back route, which is the most endless, twisty, I don't know. It's just really, really endless and I absolutely hate it. I don't see why we can't just take the normal route. Obviously it's shut, but we're just gonna have to go with it. We are nearly home, maybe like another 40, 45 minutes. Possibly anyway, Full, still full from my white potato which was obviously my post post workout meal so that was actually after my rapid recovery shake deadlifts deadlifts just felt unbelievable so actually i used a different bar today again so usually when i go up to the body academy which is the mecca of natural bodybuilding usually whenever i go up there there's the texas deadlift bar which of course is unbelievable and just to have the opportunity to obviously use a proper you know full texas deadlift bar is crazy so Always take advantage of that, always use it. But today I used this Alico bar that I go and fuck me. It felt unbelievable. So it literally felt so good. All the way up to um, four plates aside, and then we went five plates aside. And trust me, five plates aside felt better than four plates, which is weird. But you just get them days where obviously the heavier weights feel better than the lighter weights. Then we went up to six plates, so straight from five plates to six plates took a really good set of five reps which I was actually really chuffed with again because it was pretty early this morning do you know what I mean so it was it wasn't the latest of deadlift sessions and again new bar on top numbers and then also took a really good back session and I am aware that you can only see like half of my head here but my tripod keeps falling so we've got the usual end to a successful road trip right here just getting the car back to normal with a nice, quick, little clean. I am home! Thank goodness me, that was such a long journey in the end because of that stupid diversion. That was endless. The traffic literally just got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. But now I'm just going on to be negative and I really don't want to do that, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to stay positive. We're home. I don't know if you can hear Benji. He has gone off his head already. Absolutely endless. So he'll be going to get taken a walk. Hello. What are you saying? What are you saying? Wee Benji? What's Benji saying? Hello. Hello. Hiya. What are you saying, young Benjamin? What are you saying? What are you saying? Eh? Hello. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna wrap this video up here but just before I do wrap it up going over one thing and that is the red monster so I'm absolutely baffled why people can put any other 
any other monster over the red one like literally the red monster is honestly the most nicest flavor ever it is honest oh it goes down an absolute treat so i can't wait for my next can of that but goodness knows when it'll be probably another road trip i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope you guys have maybe took something from this video if you have you have if you haven't you haven't but i do hope you have enjoyed it i've had a lot of fun making it i had a really successful road trip a really successful workout I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new about here. And I will see you guys in the next video.